Hello, good morning, students. In the last class, we studied some important numericals in this chapter. So, see the next numericals from this chapter: motion in plane. So, in this chapter, we derived expression for the maximum height range of projectile as well as the time of flight. At the same time, we derived the expression for the resultant of the two forces when acted at the uh, at the parallelogram, or when the two forces are acted. As a vector at the two sides of a parallelogram, then the resultant can be taken from the diagonally, and the resultant from lies R is equal to root of p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta. As well as we also study about that when the resultant force is a maximum and when the resultant force is a minimum. That is R is equal to p plus q is the maximum resultant force. And R is equal to P minus Q, that time the result is a minimum. So at the same time, we also study about the circular motion and we derive the expression for the acceleration in the circular motion. And the acceleration is a possessor in the circular motion due to the change in linear velocity. And that acceleration is known as a centripetal acceleration. And we derive the expression for the centripetal acceleration that is A is equal to P square by R. As well as we derive the related formulas, P is equal to R omega, where omega is the angular velocity, and omega is equal to 2 pi r. So in this type, we also study about the centripetal force, and the related formula for the centripetal force e is equal to mv square by r. So in this type, these formulas are related for the numericals. So remember these formulas, and also use the logarithm book to solve the uh, numericals in this chapter. So see the natural sign, natural cos, and find out the given values. Those are related. So in this type, let's see the next question. The ceiling of a long hall. The next question in this chapter, the ceiling. The ceiling of a long hall of a long hall, long hall, the ceiling of a long hall is a 25 meter, is a 25 meter, is 25 meter high, is a 25 meter high. If the height is given, that is a 25 meter. What is the maximum? What is the, what is the maximum? What is the maximum? What is the maximum horizontal distance? Horizontal distance. Horizontal distance. What is the maximum horizontal distance that that a ball a ball thrown with a speed of thrown a ball thrown with a speed of with a speed of with a speed of 40 meter per second 40 meter per second can go can go without can go without without hitting the hitting the Ceiling of the hall of the hall. So before solve the numerical, read the question carefully. Read the question carefully and find out the given values and what is the aim in this question. So first to find out the given values. So see here in this question, given values are given values. Each numerical carries five marks in the annual examination. From this chapter, one numerical is a compulsory. So see here, the ceiling of a long hall. So height of that hall, there is a hall in there and the height of the hall is a given as a 25 meter. So the height is given, height is equal to 25 meter. What is the maximum horizontal distance? Maximum horizontal distance is known as a range. Means in this uh, hall, 
we throw the object in the upward direction we throw the ball in the the height of the ball is given as a 25 meter and when we throw that object when we throw the ball in the upward direction and we know that when we throw this with a minimum angle it covers a minimum height and again fall down but we throw that ball in a upward direction which covers without hitting the ceiling means without hitting the upper surface of the hall hall it again touch the ground so h is a given and the question is what is the range of a projectile means when we throw the ball in the upward direction it covers a maximum height and again fall down so when it fall down the distance in between the initial position and the final position of the ball is known as the range of a projectile so here range of the projectile or range of the ball is not given so what is the range of the ball next to initial velocity is a given u is a given that is a 40 meter per second u is given 40 meter per second then to find out the theta is also uh, theta is given that or theta is uh, not given then what is the angle of a projection in this question what is the angle of projection then use the formula for the range of a projectile or first to find out that the maximum height is equal to h maximum or the maximum height is equal to v square u square sin square theta divided by 2 into g here g is not and the value of g is equal to 9.8 so find out the value the maximum height is a given that maximum height is equal to 25 is equal to u is given and the initial velocity of the ball is a 40 square is equal to sin square theta divided by 40 square into sin square theta divided by 2 into g so here use the formula for the maximum height because in this question theta is not given but the height is given so to find out the theta because to find out the range theta value is a required and theta is not given then first to find out the value of a theta by using the formula maximum height is equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g where u is given that u is equal to 40 and maximum height is given as a 25 into sin square theta divided by 2g we know that the value of g is equal to 9.8 or it is considered to be 10 Then calculate this cross multiply and find out the value of x theta. Therefore, cross multiply this equation: 25 into 2 into 9.8 is equal to. This value is the divide. 40 into 40 is equal to sine square theta. So calculate this value, and when we calculate this value. We got the answer. That your answer is sine theta is equal to 40 into sine square theta divided by sine square theta is equal to 25 into 2 into 9.8 divided by 40 into 40 is equal to sine square theta. Therefore, sine theta, sine theta is equal to 7 into root of 10 divided by 40. So simplify this by using the calculate calculator. And solve this value, and we got the value theta is equal to thirty three point six degree. So simplify this by using the calculator. First, to find out this value, then take the root of the value, and when we take the root of this value, we got the answer theta is equal to thirty three point six degree, means thirty three degree and six minute. So when the value is about, find out in the sine inverse. And theta is equal to thirty-three degree six minute. Then again find out the value of a horizontal distance. Horizontal distance is known as the range of a projectile, and the range of projectile is equal to r is equal to u square sine two theta divided by g. U square sine two theta divided by g. Then u is given that is a u is equal to forty into forty. Into sine two theta means sine into sine into two into thirty three degree 
33 degree 6 minutes. So calculate this value and see the logarithm book and the answer is answer is 150 meter. So to simplify this, use the logarithm book and calculate the value. So see here how to solve this. First, the value is a given, that value is a 25 meter. Means uh, the height is given. So use the related formula for the height. So find out height is equal to. So first to find out by using this formula, theta. Therefore, theta is equal to 33 degrees 6 minutes. Then use this theta to simplify the next equation, that is the range of projectile. And the related formula for the range of projectile is u square sine 2 theta divided by g. Where u is given, that is a 40 into 40 into sine into 2 into the value theta is equal to 33 degrees 6 minutes. So multiply this value and we have got this answer. So in this time, we find out the range of projectile as well as the height, the angle of a projection. Next numerical. A cricketer can throw. A cricketer. A cricketer can throw. A cricketer can throw a ball. A ball. A ball to a maximum. To a to a maximum to a maximum horizontal distance maximum horizontal distance horizontal distance distance to a more maximum horizontal distance of 100 meter of 100 meter how much height how much height how much height? How much height? How much height? Above the ground. Above the ground. Above the ground. How much height? Above the ground. Can the cricketer? Can the cricketer? Can the cricketer throw the same ball? Throw the same ball. Throw the same ball. Throw the same ball. So, see, first read the question. A cricketer can throw the ball to a maximum horizontal distance. Means here condition is that when the ball is thrown in the upward direction, it will cover a maximum distance that is 100 meter. And we know that. To cover a maximum distance on the horizontal direction, there is an angle of projection is important. When we do that, when we throw that projectile with a small angle, means it cover a small distance. But when we give the maximum angle, and it cover a maximum distance. And we know that the condition to find out the maximum horizontal distance is, we need out that. When there is a theta is equal to 45 degree, means sine 2 theta is equal to 90 degree, or 90 degree means that is equal to 1. So to cover a maximum range, to cover a maximum range, the projectile is a thrown with an angle 45. So there is a hint is given that the projectile is a cover a maximum distance 100 meter. Means what is the angle of projection here? The angle of projection is a 45 degree. So in this type we consider a cricketer can throw a ball to a maximum horizontal distance of 100 meter. So see the given values. In this given values, given values, first read the given values carefully. That maximum horizontal distance 
is a covered by the projectile is a 100 meter means the range of projectile is a given that is a 100 meter how much height above the ground means what is the maximum height covered by that ball when we throw the ball from the surface it will cover a maximum range and that range is a 100 meter then the question is that what is the maximum height covered by the projectile? What is the maximum height covered by the projectile? Can much higher above the ground can the cricketer throw the same ball? Therefore, what is the height of a projectile? Height is equal to how much? Then a small height is given, it covers a maximum horizontal distance. So remember, students, when the heat is given. When the question is given in this form, means in the question, the object is covered a maximum horizontal distance, means the hint is given that the angle of projection is a 45 degree. The angle of projection is a 45 degree because we know that when the angle of projection is a 45, means sine 2 theta, that is a 45 into 2, that is a sine 90, and we know that the value of a sine 90 is equal to 1. So, in this type of, to cover a maximum range, the angle of projection is required as a 45. If the theta is not given in the question, but we remember that if the sentence is given, that is a, the ball cover a maximum horizontal distance, means that time we consider theta is equal to 45 degree. Therefore, find out the range of a projectile. Then range is equal to these type of questions are kind of unique or CT. So, see, so find out the range of projectile. So, range of projectile is equal to range of projectile is equal to u square divided by g into sine 2 theta. But here, hint is given that it cover a maximum distance, maximum range means theta is equal to 45. Therefore, sine 2 theta. That is a u square divided by g is equal to sine 2 into 45. So 2 into 45 is a 90. Therefore, u square by g into sine 90. And we know that the sine 90 is equal to according to the trigonometry in the mathematics or by using the logarithm book, sine 90 is equal to 1. Subtract the value of a uh, sine 90. Therefore, range of projectile is equal to u square by g. Range of projectile, we find out the range of projectile that r is equal to u square by g. Then find out the distance is a given. Then find out the value of a maximum height. Therefore, maximum height is equal to. To find out the maximum height, h is equal to u square u square into sine theta square, sine square theta divided by 2g. So, see, to find out the maximum height, h is equal to u square into sine square theta divided by 2g. And we have sine theta, theta is equal to 45, means sine 45 into sine 45. So, subtract the values. And the where range of the projectile is a given in that question, and range of projectile is a, the maximum distance cover on the horizontal direction is a given. That is the range is given. Means range is equal to we have got here u square by g. And the value of u square by g is equal to 100 meter. Then subtract the value of a u square by g in this question. H is equal to, so see here, h is equal to related formula is a u square sine square theta divided by 2g. Then in this, u is not given. But the range of the projectile is a given. So by using this formula, range is equal to u square by g into sine 90, where sine 90 is equal to 1. Therefore, r is equal to u square by g is equal to 100 meter. Subtract this value of u square by g in this question. That is, a h is equal to u square by g is equal to 100 divided by 2 into sine square theta. Sine square theta is a sine theta into sine theta. Sine theta into sine theta. Where theta is given as a 45. And sine 45 is equal to 1 by root 2. 
1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, 100 by 2, that is a 50 into 1 divided by 2. Therefore, here is equal to 100 by 2 into u square by g. That u square by g into b square divided by 2g. The value of b square by 2g is equal to range of the projectile is a given. That is the range of projectile is equal to 100. So 100 by 2 is equal to that value is a 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50 meter. So see here, sin theta, sin theta is the maximum, that is a sin 90, sin 90 to sin 90 is equal to 1. That value is a 1. That value of a sin 90 is equal to 1. Therefore, 100 by 2 is equal to 50 meter. So in this time, we calculate the value of a maximum height. Maximum height covered by the projectile is equal to 50 meter. the next question. Towards the center of the circle, which must be acting upon the mass. 
we know that when the body is revolving around the circumference of the circle is known as a circular motion so suppose any object means a body of mass making a eight motion so see here suppose there is a any body with a mass is a 5 kg which is a revolving around the center which is a revolving around the circumference of a circle and which makes a eight revolution per second and we know that the number of rotation given per second is known as a frequency so in this question the frequency is given as well as the radius is given that radius is equal to 14 meter find the center of the force find the force so we know that when any body which is a moving around the circumference of a circle there is a, a required centripetal acceleration is there and that acceleration is a directed towards the center and the force with which the body is a moving around the circumference of a circle that force is known as a centripetal force so in the last derivation we derive the related formula for the centripetal force and the formula is centripetal force is equal to f is equal to m into t square divided by r we derive this expression that a uh, centripetal force is equal to remember the related formulas formulas are very important make a list for the formulas and remember those formulas for the first year and second year then see here centripetal force is equal to m t square by r here r be the radius of the rotation m be the mass of the object here the mass of the body is given that mass is given as a 5 kg then r is also given but v is not given v is not given but we know that the relation between the angular velocity and linear velocity we derive the relation between the linear velocity and the angular velocity and that related formula is v is equal to r into omega v is equal to r into omega so which value is given here v is equal to r into omega therefore convert this formula in the form of a omega convert this formula v in is equal to r omega therefore m into v square is equal to r square omega square divided by r so r square get cancelled therefore another one formula for the centripetal force is centripetal force is equal to m into r into omega square so see here this related formula is there if the linear velocity v is given means use the formula m v square by r if v is not given the number of rotations are given that time we use the related formula v is equal to r into omega therefore substitute here v square v square means r square omega square so substitute here r square omega square r r get cancel therefore the related formula for the centripetal force is m r omega square omega is the angular velocity and in this question angular velocity is not given frequency is given frequency what is the meaning of frequency number of rotation given per second is known as a frequency then how many rotations are given by the body per second revolution per second making a revolution per second means in this f is given that f is equal to 8 8 revolution per second what is the meaning of revolution per second the rotation given by the body in a one second so the number of rotation given by the body in one second are h therefore frequency is equal to h then find out the value of omega we also derive the related formula for omega omega is equal to 2 pi by t that is equal to 2 pi y therefore 2 into is equal to 2 we know that the value of a pi is that value of pi is a 3.14 3.14 into frequency is given h so calculate this value when we calculate this value 2 into 3.14 into a so see we take this value and the unit for omega is angular displacement by time means radian per second so unit for this is a radian per second substitute so this value here m mass of the body is given what is the mass of body pi radius is also given radius is equal to 14 into 
Young R omega square, that is a 2 into 3.14 into 8 square. So calculate by using the calculator and find out the value. And the value is, the value is equal to 1.77 into 10 to the power of 5 newton. So calculate this value and find out the answer. We got the value. We write that value in the form of 177000, otherwise convert that in the form of a powers. So 1.77 into 10 to the power of a 5 newton. So this is the answer. See the next question. Which is a tied to a string 
and the another end of the string in your hand and if we rotate that string the stone is also rotated in a circular path and due to the rotation the acceleration is a positive that acceleration is known as the centripetal acceleration so here a stone tied to the end of the string of a 80 cm long 80 cm long means in this way the radius is equal to 80 cm a converting meter means converting meter that is a convert in the form of a cm to meter otherwise the distance is given r is given 80 cm it rotate in a horizontal circle with a constant speed means v is a constant if the stone makes 14 revolution in a 25 second means a frequency is a given that number of rotations given per second that is a frequency is equal to 14 divided by 25 what is the magnitude and direction of the acceleration so we know that when the stone is rotated in a circular path the acceleration is always directed towards the center and the centripetal that acceleration is known as a centripetal acceleration so in the circular path the direction of the acceleration is always towards the center so here the magnitude and direction of the acceleration is a towards the center is known as a, means the direction of the stone or the direction of the acceleration which is a possessor when the stone is rotated in a circular path that acceleration is a directed towards the center then see us first find out the given values that r is a given r is equal to r is equal to 80 cm otherwise convert this in meter that when we convert from centimeter to meter it is a divided by 100 so divided by 100 therefore r is equal to 0.8 meter r is equal to 0.8 meter then find out the value of a velocity is equal to omega is equal to 2 pi by t therefore p is equal to p is equal to r into omega p is equal to r into omega where r is given r is equal to 80 cm and which makes the 14 revolution per second so 14 revolution per second means to find out the frequency to find out the, the frequency there are number of rotations are given as a 14 revolution revolution that is the 2 pi omega is equal to 14 into 2 pi f divided by no time the time is given as a 25 the time is given as a 25 so calculate this value and we have got this value is equal to 2.816 meter per second v is equal to r omega then uh, substitute the value of r substitute the value of omega and find out the value of a omega and therefore Fourteen revolution divided by twenty-five. So calculate this value. The value is equal to value is equal to two point eight one six. Therefore, acceleration a is equal to p square divided by r. So p is equal to p is equal to two point eight one six. Otherwise, p is equal to r omega. Otherwise, omega is equal to v by r. Calculate this value. A is equal to two point eight one six square divided by r is given as a r is a zero point eight divided by zero point eight. This acceleration is equal to nine point nine meter per second square. So in this type form, we have got the acceleration, and that the acceleration is equal to nine point nine, and the direction of acceleration is direction. Direction of acceleration is towards the center, towards the center. See the next question.
forces two equal forces two equal forces two equal forces are acting at a point are acting at a point acting at a point two equal forces are acting at a point and angle between and angle between angle between them is a 60 degree is 60 degree calculate 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 magnitude of the resultant force magnitude magnitude of the resultant force calculate magnitude of the resultant force so see here two equal forces are acting at a point and the angle between them is 60 degree calculate the magnitude of the resultant force so we know that the magnitude of the resultant force the related formula for the resultant when the two forces are acting at the point so see here remember this formula when the two forces are acting on the point suppose this is a p this is a q and the resultant is known as a r and the angle is 60 degrees and the related formula for this is a r is equal to root of p square plus q square plus 2 p q into cos theta so here the two forces those are acted are same in this question two equal forces means p is equal to q therefore c is equal to q both the values are same so take any one of the value when we take any one of the value r is equal to suppose p is equal to q means p square plus p square plus 2 p into p into cos theta is equal to p square plus p square here is 1 here is 1 so 1 p square 1 p square is equal to 2 p square plus 2 p square into cos theta so r is equal to root of a 2 p square plus 2 p square into cos theta then calculate the value of a cos theta cos theta is given that cos theta is given as a 60 degree so subtract the value of a cos 60 then find out the answer cos 60 subtract the value of a cos 60 that is the 2 p square plus 2 p square into cos 60 cos 60 when the cos 60 is equal to 0 0.5 or cos 60 is a 1 by 2 so subtract the value of cos 60 use the local combo and find out the value of cos 60 in the natural cos see the natural cos paper and on that paper in the lower combo in the vertical 60 degree and horizontal 0 degree so find out in the natural cos natural cos in the logarithmic combo find out this value this cos 60 is equal to 0 0.5 therefore 2 p square plus 2 p square into 1 by 2 1 by 2 so 2 to get cancelled and we got here 2 p square plus 3 uh, 1 is equal to root of a 3 p square so here here the two forces are given both the forces are same those are acted at a point that p is equal to q take any one of them take q or take p both are same so p is equal to q so substitute here p square plus p square plus 2p into substitute q is equal to p therefore cos theta one uh, p square plus p square 2p square plus 2 p into p is equal to p square into cos theta substitute the value of theta here and the value of theta is of cos 60 that is a cos 60 so see in the logarithm book on the page natural cosine 
in the natural cosine vertical direction c60 very 60 in front of that what is the value of zero degree so 60 degree zero minute so we got the value of cos 60 is 0 0.5 subtract here 1 by 0 0.5 is 1 by 2 2 to get cancelled so here 2p square plus p square means we got the value of a 3p square therefore r is equal to r is equal to root 3 takes the uh, square root of a p root 3 into p so this is the result of the answer so this is the answer in this type we solve this type of question See the next one. Two equal. Two equal. Two equal. Non parallel forces. Non parallel. Two equal non parallel forces. Non parallel forces. Acting, acting at a point, at a point, at a point on a body, on a body, on a body. The square of the resultant, the square, the square of the square of the resultant the square of the resultant is found to be is a form to be is a form to be is a form to be three times three times three times is found to be three times the product of the force. The product of the force. The product of the product of the forces. Product of the forces. What is the angle? What is the angle? What is the angle between them? Between them. What is the angle between them? So, see, yes, read the question carefully. Two equal, two equal forces means where P and Q both are same. Two equal non parallel forces acting at a point on a body. The square of the resultant is found to be the square of the resultant, means that is R square, is a form to be. Three times the product of the forces. That is a three times. That is three into P into P is the angle between them. What is the angle between them? Means find out the theta. The question is given. Find out the theta. So first read the question carefully. And find out the given values. Read the question carefully. Read each sentence carefully and find out the given values. Means there are two forces are there. Where there are two forces. Suppose the one force is a P and the another one force is a Q. And the resultant of these two forces is known as the R. Resultant of the forces is known as the R. And we know that the related formula for the R is R is equal to root of P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q into cos theta. Then here the two forces are same. The question two equal and non-parallel force means P and Q 
both are same in the given both the forces are same that is p is equal to q when p is equal to q then see the next the square of the resultant the square of the resultant that is r square is equal to 3 times the product of the forces 3 times the product of forces means r square is equal to r square is equal to product of 2 2 4 3 q but here Three times the product of forces, three into p into q. So here the hint is given. The two forces are same. That is p is equal to q. And next sentence, read the next sentence carefully. The square of the resultant, resultant is r. Square of the resultant means r square. Square of the resultant is found to be three times the product of forces. Means r square is equal to p q. But the This R is equal to three times product of the two forces. That is a three into P Q. So this is a hint given in this question. Then what is the angle theta? Then use the related formula. R A square is equal to R is equal to root of P square plus P Q square plus. Therefore, R is equal to the partial formula is a P square plus Q square plus two P Q into cos theta. Subtract the given values. Square that is R square. R square is equal to by squaring both sides. R square is equal to P square plus Q square plus two P Q into cos theta. Subtract these values. R square is equal to three P Q. Three, but P is equal to Q means three into P square. P is equal to P square plus Q square plus P square plus two P into Q is equal to P. So two p into p is equal to p square into cos theta. So see, we take the related formula. R is equal to root of p square plus q square plus two p q cos theta. In this question, given that p is equal to q, therefore p square as it is, q is equal to p. Two p into q is equal to p means p into p is equal to p square into cos theta. That R square is nearly equal to. Product of three into p two. That is a three p square. So simplify this question. Can we simplify this question? That is equal to three p square. P square p square two p square plus two p square into cos theta. Again simplify the question. So see here this side three p square. 3p square. So this is a plus. When this comes to this side, it becomes minus. Minus 2p square is equal to 2 into p square into cos theta. So here, 3p square minus 2p square is equal to p square is equal to 2p square into cos theta. So here, into means this side becomes divided. 1 into p square. Is equal to two into p square. Therefore, p square divided by two p square is equal to cos theta. P square p square get cancelled. Means the value is so one by two. One by two is equal to cos theta. So what is the value of one by two? One by two is equal to zero point five is equal to cos theta. Means whose value is a point five? For which angle the value is a point five? That angle of a cos sixty is equal to point five. Therefore, theta is equal to cos inverse of a zero point five. So find out in the logarithm book in the natural cos sign cos sign table whose angle is a zero point five. For which angle the answer is zero point five? Then we observe that this angle is equal to sixty degrees. So in this type we uh, solve this question. So in this type we solve this question. Or when we solve the numericals, read that question carefully. Read the question carefully, then solve that. And each numerical carries five marks. So simplify the question carefully. Remember the related formulas. So in this type we solve these questions. Thank you.